going on almost two weeks ago, I was down here in the basement. I've been getting rid of a, a lot of stuff lately and I came across this box of film. Now, as you can see, it expired on De December of 2006. So it's been expired for quite a long time. I didn't really think anything of it. I, I set it back down. There was two other rolls. I don't know when those actually expired. And that, it just happened to be a Sunday. And sometimes on Sundays, I'll go over to my parents' house for uh, dinner or just to hang out or whatever. And I, at this particular Sunday, I was going over and I had two pizza doughs left in my uh, refrigerator. And I'm like, oh, do you want me to, you know, I'll come over and I'll make pizza. And so as I'm doing this and we have pizza and all that kind of stuff, and then, you know, after that, and we're sitting around talking and I didn't, I don't, to my remembrance, I did not tell my mother about this film, right? And we're sitting there and we're talking. There was a baseball game on and all of a sudden, my mom is like, uh, you know, I got this camera in the other room. Do you want to see it? I said, yeah, of course, you know, and actually most of the stuff that I have from my grandfather is from Pentax. So I figured it was a Pentax uh, uh, tax camera, but it's actually a Canon. <clears throat> Here it is. It's an old Canon. It was made in 1966. This is, and it had four lenses with it. And I'm like, man, I got that film today. It's expired. You never know what's going to happen with expired film. And I'm like, whatever. So I, I, I came home and I was outside sometimes at night. I'll just go outside and sit and get yelled at by my computer. And I, I, I sit down and I was just sitting there and I'm thinking, what, like, what a weird series of events here like what i mean uh, crazy I, I find six rolls of film i find the or i get given this camera uh, out of the random now this camera is fully manual there's not even batteries on it right so it is just straight i mean you can get a battery for the meter but it's straight like if a apocalypse now happened you literally could use this camera so i'm like all right so i'm sitting out there i'm thinking and then the, the inner voice is like, you just take this camera and walk around and ask people if you can photograph them. And I'm like, wow, okay. Um, sounds somewhat terrifying, but I'll go, go do it. Like I, I ran a, a studio, you know, but the people coming into the studio knew that they were getting photographed that day. And one of the things that happened through this is, is how I'm going to close this thing off. One of the things that occurred was just mind boggling to me. So the, the thing that I got out of this most. So I did it. So I, the next day, uh, because the, the meter doesn't have a battery in this thing, I went and got a battery for my light meter. I didn't bring it in here. Otherwise, I'd show you a picture of it. And I went out and I just I went up to people. I said, you know, I got this new camera yes, or not new camera, but this old camera yesterday. Do you mind if I photograph it? I was shocked. I so I asked 81 people and the whole thing total. Only seven said no, four of which was because they thought they were too ugly to be photographed. The other three, one of them looked at me like she wanted me to never existed. <laughs> the other two just were like, nah. And it was it was crazy. So I'm gonna actually show a, a slideshow here of the photographs, some of the photographs I took. I kind of break it down a little bit after I come back. When I look at the sun going down to other skies.
Of the six rolls got developed. The, the 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 one roll had nothing on it. It didn't even have the little markers on it uh, that you get. You know, like a uh, Kodak will have like little marker, like uh, you know, photograph one, two, three. It didn't even have those on it. So this thing was super expired. A couple of them were iffy. Unfortunately, I I had this great photo shoot. There was about eight to 10 people at a table. They had all this colorful fruit and everything. There's one picture from it. There was a ton of people at this table that had all this colorful stuff. And that roll did develop, but like most of it was just straight up. I, I couldn't even tell what was going on. So that was unfortunate. Having the one not uh, work at all was unfortunate. Ironically, that was from my first day. <clears throat> I don't know, because uh, part of the other ones from that, also from that first day, did uh, get developed. So I don't think it was anything that I did, but it could have been, I don't know. And it was quite a, quite an experience. So I, I would, you know, I, I would say like, if you've got an old camera, or if you've got, you know, something like that sitting around, just go out, you might not have to do that. Like, I'm not really into nature photography i'm really not into like a lot of the different photographies that people see like i can i can go out in nature like i can see this I, like it just doesn't interest me but going around did interest me quite a bit like just talking and as you saw like i went up to some like little homeless camps and was talking to them and actually the woman in that i meant to bring it in here to, to uh, show you but she actually gave me one of her bracelets this woman's got absolutely nothing and she gives me one of her bracelets just you know basically for actually going and talking to them because they get treated like you know they don't exist and that was the number one thing that i noticed through this whole experiment was i actually got thanked by probably 85 percent of the people they can't they, they said thank you for doing this like i you know i i was having a bad day or like you made my day or whatever and i'm not going to stop doing it and I, i'm actually going to make an instagram i don't know what it is yet as uh filming this but i'm going to make an instagram for this i will link it down in the description section go check it out i think i'm going to try to do one of those instagrams where i don't put any descriptions or any hashtags and see if it'll take off faster that way that seems to be like kind of a new trend and it seems to help uh, channels take off or whatever accounts take off uh, faster so I think I'm gonna go do it that way largely because I've got a lot of pictures a lot that I didn't even show here and I don't really feel like making descriptions for all of them and I also like to take photographs that kind of tell a story within like you just look at it in a store you know and there's a story there Another thing, I don't really like superposed anything. I like kind of candid shots. I, I feel like if you look at, <clears throat> squeaking voice, if you look at what photographs or pictures or whatever the people actually look at, it's usually family ones. And those are not posed at all. It's just random stuff. And there's just like, you look at this stuff and you're like, why is all this stuff in this? this image here, like I kind of like that way better. Like I've done both, I, I worked with models and stuff like that back in the day. I've done both and the one that I like the most, not, not saying that I didn't like the stuff that I did back in the day, but the ones that I like the most are just kind of random shots. You just, 
whatever the environment is, whatever the lighting is, whatever the, you know, nothing's controlled. Nothing's controlled at all. And as you can see, you know, not all of these roles were de <laughs> developed very well. Give them credit, they were 20 years old, 20 years past expired. So it was a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. I will keep going with it. Uh, will I always run film? I do have a lot more fun with film. I actually have a couple of film cameras. I got one, two, I got two of those. I got three digital cameras. So I might just kind of change it up and see see where this all goes. See how much, you know, fun I can have with it. And that is really largely it. That has been the experiment. That is what I've been doing for like the past couple of weeks. I haven't been making as many videos, largely because, you know, how much can you really talk about diet, especially when you're eating the same thing almost every day? But yeah, that is um, that is the video. But yet my takeaway was I couldn't believe how many people thanked me for doing it or like were just so joyful that somebody actually acknowledged them. It's just this age of staring at a screen and Instagram or something like that. Ironically, I'm telling you to go look at my Instagram, but this age of just staring at a screen like has made people so isolated. You can see it in people's eyes when you walk around. They're just so isolated. It's, it's ridiculous. There was a German uh, textbook that talked about all the propaganda in America and how we're the loneliest population on the planet. And you can see it when you go out there. Anyway, that was the video. Any comments, questions down below, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Right